Hey guys, welcome to Money Machine. My name is Oriol Ajumon. And today I'll be showing us how to pass the scenario one on segmentation answers. I got a message from someone on the comment that he did not understand my example in the last video on how to get remote as answers on scenario. So today briefly, I'm just going to be showing us just that. So follow me. All right, although this is pre-recorded, so I'm just going to be doing a little voiceover as we start. So the first thing to do is to get to your tasker, so that's where you get, you know, that image coming over. Welcome to segmentation intro. All right, so I dive into it and then, you know, go into the opening scenario, open training scenario. What I do next is after the tax is opened, all right, I just do a little bit of it and then submit. And then when I submit that one, it's going to give me a corrected version, which will have the answer key and what they really want me to do. You will see the answer key and you will also see your result, your what, what you, you know, annotated so let's go straight to this image and we'll learn a little about image segmentation so the first thing here is that in this image segmentation intro we have to go to the polygon field you know we have the box we have the polygon what we select here is the polygon is a polygon um, field and then we go and then we click on an object at first you know remote tax is involving there are some new methods of doing things and, you know, I later had to find out that you have to go click on the object and then you come back to draw. So that's what I did here. I went back, click on the object and then came back to, you know, draw. And this is an object standing here. Very simple, very easy. Make sure you don't cut edges out. Just make sure you do a very good job as you, you know, you try to segment. All right, so step forward, I'm going to be drawing these and um, not losing any part of it. Okay. So we'll keep drawing and then Catching the new trails that goes okay. Yeah, what I'm talking about that you can see at the right edge of it, you can see the object as I focus on drawing, you can see the object, you can see moving or stopped. So you're going to select if the object is moving or stopped. In this case, this object is static and is not moving. So I'm just going to, you know, go ahead to, you know, make it static. Um, objects not moving, stopped. And then I submit. All right, there are other objects there. Another thing to do is to lock the object when you are done annotating. All right, I believe I'm, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to try to lock the object. I tried submitting here so that I could just get what they really wanted and could do it at their back, but I would get the answer key, but they would not. So I just decided to, you know, try at first time to just see what I would get. So I'm not taking this object here very briefly too. And very fast. That also is a static object. It's not moving, it's stopped. And then what I have to do next, one thing you do when you want to draw an object that interferes with another object, you have to lock the first object so that as you annotate one, the other object will not interfere. So I'm locking the other previous object that has been annotated or segmented before now so that when I draw this object that crosses across this other object, they will not affect the object previously drawn. For instance, you see the lamp stands over here. If I'm to draw this object now, and then 
without locking it, is going to interfere with the other object, editing it in a way that won't be what we properly wanted to get from it. So the same thing, we'll, we have to lock that, we take another object again, click on another object again, and then come down to, you know, annotate. Don't forget to fill in the attribute. They are called attributes. Whether the object is moving or stopped is called attribute. So I'm doing the same thing. I've locked it up. I'm doing the same thing, annotating or segmenting. Let me use the word segmenting. Annotation is different from segmentation. Annotation is like drawing boxes. It's more like a video and it's or an image, you know. You don't have to put all of the edges together. You just draw what you're drawing. It's like a boss most of the time. And you don't have to fill the whole space. But in segmentation, you have to fill up the whole space that there is no empty space left. All right, I was trying to draw. And you can also, if, if you're using, um, if you're using a, a pen, your system has, you have a pen for your system, you can also use that method to draw what you're actually seeing me doing here on the system right now. So, okay, I'm still on it. I'm trying to lock this so that it doesn't interfere because I saw it was going to interfere. And off we go, trying to maintain that. I think we are done with the objects. Now we're going to go into the environment. Briefly, we're just going to go into the environment. Now, we scroll up, the environment is up, and you just click on the environment. You click on the environment, and then, yeah. One other mistake people do is that when you finish, when you finish, you have to zoom in to annotate objects. So when you want to annotate the environment or segment the environment, you have to zoom out so that everything is in the pixel, is in the picture. So that you don't just annotate the sides of a small side of the image. So if I've annotated without zooming out, when I zoom out, I'll find out that a lot of spaces are left behind and I'll have to do that again. So I'm trying to annotate the environment, which is very simple in a short while we're done. Get the points on the edges quickly. Sometimes you have to put your cursor outside the image so that none of the pixels of that image is annotated outside the box. So that's exactly what you see me do. You see my cursor is out of the image to make sure that every edge of that picture is rightfully in its place. And so here we're going to do a pretty bit of a curve. Yeah. Of a curve. And um, you remember we've locked everything. So this annotation is not going to affect the object that are standing, the walls and the laps that if we had not annotated everything, then we are going to have to, you know, uh, if we had not locked everything, we're going to lose them if we draw the environment without locking all of the objects. You can see all of the objects by the right hand side, they are all locked. None of the objects is opened at all to avoid stories, you know, that touches the heart. Oh, I believe you are getting this. Um... Yep. So that's that. We've done. We are done with that. And the next thing to do is to get the streets. Now, another thing you have to do is to lock up this environment, okay? So that when you are drawing the street, you're not going to have issues. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm sure, I'm going to do that now. Lock the streets, the environment. Then you go to the streets. Yeah, click on the street. Now, remember we used the polygon fill for all of this. This time around, I'm going to advise you to use the brush so that you fill all of the spaces. So, um, yeah, brush. Brush is the best option to use. I was thinking of using all that, but brush is the best option to use. Then increase the pixel. When you increase the pixel, you come back to, you know, draw everything you see as i'm drawing if i cross the border it automatically deletes you know and make sure everything is in place okay so we're almost there 
it's rolling it's rolling i think I, I see some pizza left behind yeah that's it it's got it's it's immediately okay we are done i'm trying to make sure there are no error in the street good so the next thing is to submit this project i was expecting to see that i got it low maybe to you know get the answer key but unfortunately for me i did not get it low unfortunately i didn't get it low i passed the test but now you will see that there is a response and then your answer key visual difference your response and then answer key so what you do is to submit if you miss it if you did not complete it then you click on the answer key it has the details of what they want you to do then you leave this page and go back to the previous page and open the scenario again yeah good you open this opening the, the training scenario again then use the answers that are here yeah in the answer key in the answer key to judge what you are going to be feeling in your new scenario so in your new scenario to getting the tax done that is how it is done so thank you for joining us today thank you for being a part of this big family as we progress and increase we're going to be having more of this kind of video please if you have suggestion comment opinion you can drop them in the comment section i'll be there to respond to you swiftly and if there are other if there are other jobs you know remote work you know that people can do you can just go to the telegram group send me a link directly send me a message directly i'll respond to you and then i will get the message across try it and see if it's going to work and we may have them shared on this youtube page thank you for joining us today see you some other time